Hi guys. So today I will be talking about my top seven favorite glosses. Well, I was trying to make it top five, but unfortunately I could not decide because I wanted a variety of shades. Like I wanted some nudes in there. I wanted a brown and I wanted a pink. I wanted a mauve. So including all those colors and just choosing five was pretty hard. So I decided why kind of compromise and instead show you my top seven favorite glosses. So these seven include a few high end and a few drug stores. So it's a mix of both and all these seven glosses are the formulas that I really like and the colors are something that really suit my skin tone. Without any further delay, let's get into the video. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And please do follow me on all my social networking sites and that way we can keep in touch. on my lip right now and that is this mauve shade from Manna Beauty Simplified Cosmetics and the shade is Lucky. This is the gloss and it is a mauve shade as you can see on my lip and I'm quickly going to swatch it for you. It is a straight up mauve shade really 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 creamy very soft on your lips when you apply it on your lips it literally glides it is amazing and i absolutely have no lip liner or any lipstick underneath it's just the gloss on my lips so this is how it looks with just the gloss the pigmentation is amazing it applies really well and i love the color it's this mauve shade I, when it comes to glosses, I'm not really picky about how long they stay and things like that. But compared to a few other glosses that I own, this does stay for a little longer. So let's move on to the next shade. I'm sorry for the messy packaging, but I had to tape this once and the gum just does not want to come off. And I'm too lazy to even try hard, so... But this is the gloss from MUA that is Makeup Academy and it's in the shade Nude and this is how it looks, the shade and this is probably the lightest gloss that I own because a lot of light colors do not really go well with my skin tone. This is the shade here, it's a nude color, it is really 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 pretty. So this is a gloss that I go for if I want that something on my lips like not really a dark pigment or not really a dark color on my lips but just something that's there on the lip this is the shade that I go for and it's lasting power is not too much again if I try to eat or drink something it's gone and I will have to reapply it and apart from that it's really creamy I have no issues it is not sticky I am not a fan of really sticky glosses like something that sticks like really I know I know gloss is supposed to be sticky but if it's like uh, too sticky sometimes when you do this and you feel like you have glue on your lips i hate that but both of these glosses that i spoke about are not too sticky so that's something that i really like about both of them the next one i have is this really really dark shade from essence it's their xxxl shine lip gloss and this is supposed to be ultra shiny and the previous two that i showed you that is the mauve one and the nude one are especially the mauve one after a while 
you just feel like you have some lipstick on with a very little glossy finish as you can see on my lip right now and so is the nude like you don't feel like it's a gloss there after a while you feel like it's just a lipstick but this essence gloss is really glossy as you can see it is so glossy like compared to these two here this is so glossy it's like high shine as the name suggests but i absolutely love this color i was so skeptical to use this color for a while and i had not used it for the longest time but then this summer i started using it and fell in love with it the formula is amazing it's not really sticky it applies really well on your skin it is really pigmented as you can see but when it comes to coverage and probably if i just wear this gloss with absolutely no liner or lipstick below then you you kind of know that you are wearing a gloss that does not bother me really i love it because it really applies well and it the color is so pretty and it's not too sticky and yeah that's about it the next one i have is this one by urban decay revolution which is in the shade liar i have no idea why that's the name is but it's liar from urban decay the revolution gloss line and i actually got a sample of this one deluxe sample and i absolutely fell in love with it like, yeah i got this and i absolutely love the color first of all this is my favorite gloss the color wise so color wise this is my favorite gloss it's right here it suits my skin really well it is a brown shade again highly 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 pigmented like if you wear this you feel like you have a lipstick on and not a gloss and i really like that about glosses personally that's my personal choice like because i mean there are some glosses that you wear and you feel like okay that's just gloss and you still feel like lipstick's missing but when you wear something like this you have a gloss on not a lipstick but you still feel like you have a lipstick on so glides on your skin it's like cream on your lips i love that about this one and it is really pigmented and looks amazing on olive skin tone i'm not kidding and apart from that yeah you will have to reapply it a few times but it definitely settles into your skin really well just like the one i'm wearing right now this gives the kind of same effect but a different color so I'm definitely going to show you swatches at the end of all these colors, so keep watching. <laughs> so the next two glosses that I have are from NYX and the first one I have is this one which is a NYX Intense Butter Gloss which is in the shade Funnel Delight. This is the swatch right here. It is the Fuchsia Pink shade and <laughs> need I talk about pigmentation? As you can see, it's so, so, so pigmented and the color is so, so, so pretty. This was like my go-to color during summer. So I absolutely love this one. And this gloss is something that feels more like a lipstick on your lip. It is so buttery as the name suggests. It is so creamy on your lips and you will, I mean, you will just love having it on your lips if I have to put it the right way. <laughs> The next gloss I have is the NYX Cosmic Metals and I decided since metals and the metallic lipsticks and glosses are the thing now, I have to include this one because, hmm, so I bought this like a, I even hauled it for you guys in a video and I bought this a few months or weeks ago and I was initially skeptical to use it because a it was metallic and b i was not sure how it would look on me and once i used it i absolutely fell in love with it i was like this is the shade that makes every lipstick look pretty i've used this in one of my videos just this one without anything underneath and it looked brilliant so the pigmentation's really amazing for a gloss this is how this is the color right here it is so pretty this is again a brown shade it's a mix between brown and copper i would say and this is a really pretty color i love the formula again it's not really sticky this gloss makes an amazing lipstick topper you can definitely wear it by itself but also this makes an amazing lipstick topper 
<clears throat> the last gloss that I have today, I'm sure, is on most of our list here, and it is this one by Buxom. It is their white Russian. This gloss goes well with every skin tone. I've heard so many YouTubers speak about this one and I've seen like people with different skin tone talk about this and everyone loves it. The sad part is if I swatch it on my hand, I don't think it'll be seen, but we'll still try. So I hope you can see something glossy right here. I'm so bad at swatching. But anyway, I'm going to show you a lip swatch at the end. So I think that will be a way better picture than the swatch on my hand. So yeah, this is the prettiest shade ever. It is again a nude color and it goes really well as a lipstick topper or as a gloss by itself. I absolutely love how it looks. I love their formula. Like I feel they have one of the best formulas. I do own a few other shades from the same brand and I absolutely love the formula of everything it's so good so creamy literally glides on your skin and looks really pretty they have some really 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 pretty shades and that is what I think makes me want to buy a gloss and I have owned a few other glosses that I was not really happy with like it was either because of the color because I would buy a color looking at someone else wearing it and then would realize that it did not suit my skin or the formula because I felt it was too sticky because I am not a fan of the sticky glosses. It's fine if it's not too pigmented, I can still use it as a lipstick topper but if it's too sticky it is just not made for me. But these are the seven formulas that I absolutely love. These are the seven shades that suit me really really well. Glosses are something that I really love. I mean I am a total lipstick junkie but I'm a gloss junkie too honest boy but <laughs> I really like the new formulas that brands are coming out with today that are actually glosses but look more like lipsticks I think that is my favorite kind of gloss personally and that is it for the video guys I really hope you enjoyed it I will see all of you in my next video have a great week ahead see you in my next video